Hello, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Lifestyle Tips with Miss B. On today's segment, we're going to discuss eight different ways on how to better love yourself. Let's get started. Tip number one, get to know yourself. What are your likes? What are your dislikes? What are some non-negotiable needs of yours? What are the things that you do where you feel most like yourself? In order to love someone, you have to get to know them deeply and accept them for who they are. How could you possibly love yourself if you don't know who you are? Tip number two, reaffirm yourself daily. What are some things that you're better at doing than the people around you? What are some things that you would never change about yourself? Self-love is a choice. Would you rather focus on the things that you love about yourself or the things that you don't? Tip number three, be kinder to yourself. When you make a mistake, it's okay. Instead of saying, oh, that was so stupid of me, replace it with, that was so human of me. And then follow it up with a question, what did I learn from this? And apply it to your future. Tip number four, earn your respect. Whether anyone else is watching, do the right thing, always. The more you do the right thing, the more you can stand firm in knowing that you are a good person, whether you're misunderstood or not. Tip number five, own your strengths and weaknesses. Even if there are things that you don't quite love about yourself, take note of it. Those are areas of growth for the future. Owning who you are, flaws and all, is one of the most powerful things that you can do for yourself and the people around you. Tip number six, invest in future you. Oftentimes we chase the pleasure of the moment and take away from the peace of the future. Work out even when you don't feel like it. Read a book instead of scrolling for an hour. Do what's good for you and your future self, even when you don't feel like doing it in the moment. Tip number seven, feel freely. Your current state of mind is not permanent. Allow the guilt that you feel right now to flow through you as opposed to being held hostage in you. Whatever you're feeling, it's okay. Just allow yourself to feel it so that you can move past it. And lastly, tip number eight, ask yourself, what does self-love mean to you? And get specific. Pay attention to what you're doing in that moment. What's around you? Is it warm? Is it cold? Tune into all of those feelings in that moment and then make a habit of creating those moments for yourself more regularly, whether you're alone or with others. That was it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in to another segment of Lifestyle Tips with Miss B. And always remember, I love you, I mean it, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Peace.